Hello and welcome back to the GBFP. We are on Chicago and we are making a playoff push. Obviously our record right now makes it seem like we are most likely going to be in the playoffs. We are eighth in the league, but anything could happen. We could have a brutal collapse. It wouldn't be totally unscott-like. However, our GAA and save percentage right now are quite nice. 237 GAA, 923 save percentage, and our record doesn't look too shabby. I don't know why I'm going to mention this in a Be a Pro. I feel like this is just the series that most people watch, but I think the Quebec Nordiques franchise Be a Pro is just not going to happen because it was a 10 out of 10 views-wise every time I put it up, so clearly... People didn't want to watch it. And you know what? That's fine. I thought it would be something that people would be interested in, but clearly I was wrong. And, you know, that's going to happen. So, yeah, that series most likely done where it is. I'm trying to figure out some other video ideas I could do as one-offs instead of the drafts because those are normally my only one-off videos. But I'm going to try to make some more videos that are... I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But just, yeah, videos that aren't series and... Hopefully are interesting. Well, let's go ahead and view our lines. I believe we did make a couple moves at the trade deadline. Nothing major. But yeah, we got Berkeley up on the first line now. I think Nuge is new. I believe he wasn't here before. Same with Zabenejad and Mikhaev. Defensively, we look pretty decent. And obviously in the net, we have none other than your boy. 97 overall Scott Sterling backed up by Aiden Hill. So let's finish up the season, play three games, and hope that we are in fact in the lofts. Seattle is currently 15th in the league. Simulate and let's see if this is one worth jumping into or if it's one just skipping right past. So let's get an early goal here, Chicago. Yes, right there. That's his first game on the new team. Zabenejad scores. Things you love to see, that. And we get another one from another new face. Ilya buries it, makes a 2-0 Chicago. I like it. Just an immediate goal to start the third period. Don't mind if I do. Honestly. All right, so maybe, unless Seattle has some kind of comeback here, this game is worth just skipping. Oh, but you know what? We do have something to play for in this one. Yeah, I think we have to. We can't skip past the third period with that big goose egg sitting right there in front of me. So Seattle has Benson, Heischer, and Austin Matthews. Be a pro, you are wild. Edzy, who wears number 16, still don't like it. It's really odd. Yeah, yeah. Easy. Light work. Absolutely saw that coming from a mile away. Well, there goes the goose egg. Didn't see that one coming from a mile away. Oh, he's even taunting me. Get out of here. Oh, my word. Who is this guy? I totally deserve that, by the way. You know, I was getting all cocky right off the bat, and... That's instant karma. You're gonna end up finding me in an instant karma compilation. Brutal. So call me crazy. Oh, don't call. Just an immaculate save. What I was gonna say before I was brutally interrupted by that highway robbery is, because of how fast that goal was, slightly concerned for our lead, to be honest. With the shutout no longer being obtainable, now we just gotta win, we gotta get the two points. And like I said, we are eighth in the league, so a couple losses here and there aren't gonna kill us, but every point matters. Even if it's just to get absolutely deleted. Who are you, 10? Is that Borgo? I don't know, I couldn't read that. But either way, get out of my house. That is now the second time that I have been interrupted by an unbelievable save. But what I was getting at is that even if the points just help us get a better seed in the playoffs, then that helps, you know? Woo! Had to fall back on that one. I think we just kicked it in the net too, didn't we? Good thing that whistle went. Glove, nope. Blogger save. Not like It's completely opposite. It's opposite day. No, it's not. But um, anyway, let's just move on. Forget that happened. It would actually be wild, though, if we went on to win the cup our first year in Chicago after many failed attempts with Columbus. That would be redonkulous. And also, Lundqvist, let's go. Way to pick that pass off. Great defensive play. And we go right back the other way. Couldn't score, though. Now here comes Zetterland. Gains the line. Yeah? What are you going to do? Hands it off to the D-man, who then... Pelts our guy in the face. 
I don't know. That seems just a little bit intentional. Nope. Another glove save. <laughs> no. But that was actually a good one. They are getting some real good chances here. Those shots back there never used to scare me, but I feel like the tips in this game are way more deadly than they've ever been before. Yeah, get in there, Bedsy. Crash the net. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get up, please. Unnecessary. Two minutes. You can't do that. Yes! Berkeley and Stella just literally punched the goalie in the face. No response from Seattle. Maybe there's some locker room turmoil going on over there. But what a goal. Hands it off. Boom. How you doing? Top shelf. Headbutts the goalie too. Could have just conkied him. And then afterwards also gave him a right hook during the celebration. <laughs> it doesn't get much better than that. I won't say that this game is safely a W yet. But I'm just saying it's looking mighty fine. And we will be advancing to how many wins? 36? Do we have 35 right now? Or am I totally wrong? Also, why does their goalie have a Kraken helmet, but the rest of the equipment is just default? Like, what is this, an e-bug? What is going on over there? They do have Borgo on their team, so that might have been the lad I saw earlier. Battle behind the net, and we win it, because that's what we do. We win. Yes! Little give and go. And just like that... This game is sealed. There's no way, no way they get four goals in the next, like, what is it, four minutes? Yeah, not happening. Boom. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. That is unreal. Unreal. Who are you, 2-0? Who dat? Who is feeling charitable? My voice just said, I'm gonna stop. All right, glove save, throw it out to Peak, who carried it for debatably far too long. Still managed to make the play though. How does he still have this thing? What just happened to that guy in front? So many questions. Get out of my arena. Okay, good. We are at home. I just realized. Just like thinking about it for a second. Like, are we on the road? Even if we were in the Climate Pledge Arena. I own it now. Absolutely rent free. Spence goes for a point shot. Does not get through. And yeah, they're not going to pull their goalie. All right. Great game, Chicago. Absolutely peak performance. One more save. Obviously, I'm going to get rid of it. What do I look like? Someone who smothers the puck or something? No. 37 shots and two goals against. And one of those goals was a gift from our defenseman. We are in against the Rangers. I do see the Ducks on the horizon, so that'd be a fun team to play against. And if we play Columbus again... We do. All right. Well, I know what two games were, assuming that we actually get to start. Because I remember I tried to play against the Ducks twice last video, and the GM coach was like, no, don't put him in. I swear. If this is the third straight time we aren't in against, finally. Here we go. It is Scott Sterling against the team that drafted him, the Anaheim Ducks. I am now two teams removed from Anaheim, but still... Would be good to beat them, and I would appreciate if we didn't let up shorthanded goals as well. I think that is a very fair ask. Yes, Zabanajad ties it up. I feel like he's been lighting the lamp since he joined our squad. 2-1, Danielson gives us the lead. Power play for Anaheim right after, and they cannot capitalize. They can only score shorthanded. Not on the peeper. All right, 2-1 lead, heading into three. Let's see if we can hold it. I don't think they have a single gold X factor on their team. They have Drysdale and Frost, but they just have the silver abilities. I got infinitely lucky right there. Infinitely? I don't know if that's a thing, but it is now. Win that draw. Just like that. Exactly, Bedsy. Exactly. Oh yeah, 5-1? Is that what you think? You think you can just take a shot? 
and then snow the goalie and also give me a little body check while you're at it? We'll see. We'll see about that one. Here we go. I don't know who the goalie is for Anaheim. Oh, it's Georgiev. All right. All right. Here we go. And he actually got me, but I got him. He blocked that one. Okay. Big dodge. Oh, yeah. Get out of here. All right. So, so far, we're winning. And we are going to continue to win because I have yet to lose a fight. And today is not the day. Especially after what just happened in my crease. Okay. Maybe today's the day. Just kidding. Gotcha. You believed me for a second there, didn't you? Maybe not. I didn't really sound too convincing. Yes. Yes! What a goal by Bedsy. In the slot. Gets a pass from the D-man. And he makes no mistake. Sending it home. Top left. Boom. Nice hit. Let's go, Rasmus. You think so? You think so? Flying poke check. Get out of my house. Yeah, that's right. I still own this arena too. Rent free. It was so long ago, I don't even remember. Did we ever see playoff success with Anaheim? Or was it pretty much the same story as Columbus? I'm drawing a complete blank right now. Get out of here with that. Staying with the puck. Yeah, I gotta do more butterfly sliding instead of doing this thing. Because I feel like it's more accurate. Whereas this is just sort of very reckless, if that makes sense. Nice try, boys. The puck meets Irene. Nice try, Mikhaev. Love it. Now here comes Yams. And he is going to get blown up. And immediately retreat to the bench. I can't say I blame him. I couldn't see anything because of the feedback. Which, I swear I removed that. Unless you can't remove the above the head stuff. I don't know. Goalie coverage grid. No. Don't want that. Feedback hints off. And same with control hints. Yes? Alright, I just tried to turn it all off. So let's see what happens. Let's go. Yeah. Knew it. Absolutely knew it. What a goal from Bedsy. Just in the right place at the right time. Second goal tonight. Not a big deal. Great passing from the boys all around here. And yeah. Yeah. Georgiev tried to get over, but it was too little too late. Connor had already done a little toe drag release. That seals the deal. Big save. Where is it? I don't like. No, no, no. Still don't like. Please get up. Korchinski carrying it out. What a stud muffin. Gets it to Berkeley, who somehow actually lets go a missile. I have no idea how he got that much power behind that. Was not ready for that shot. I'm going to be honest. Caught me off guard. Still managed to save it. I'm glad that was our player because I slid maybe just like a little bit too far. Yes, sir. That's a W. That is two wins for Scott in this video. So naturally, that means the last one we are going to get rinsed. Or maybe not. 30 shots and only one goal against. Get destroyed by your former netminder. Second star of the game. Very good chance I got booed when I came out to have that second star thing. Maybe not. Maybe they liked me. A little chitty chat with Bedsy? What do you want? What's going on? Catch a ball game? Absolutely. I would love to. I forgot that this was the year of the brand. Diplomatic. End conversation. I got four endurance somehow. Columbus, 34 wins. All right, so they're actually doing decently. Let's see if we can take them down and earn two points against Scott's other... Oh, no, it's a back-to-back. -back. Please, let the other goalie play against the Golden Knights. Come on. Moment of truth. Are we in? No! Come on, man! And we take a 3-2-L. I've just about had it. Let's try to play a divisional game here. I feel like we close out the year entirely divisional. And currently, Smashville is first in our division. So let's try to take them on and see what we can do. Nashville's 10 points ahead of us still. That is insane. But a major hockey? Yeah, sure. Why not? No, it's supposed to be year of the brand. I keep forgetting. And I just made brand like ability go down. What a joke. This might be the first place team in the entire league. 47 wins. They have 106. So they're tied with the Canucks and one point ahead of the Pity Pens. So this is a big one. Let's see if we can ruin their chances 
at a president's trophy. Quick start, right out of the gate. Yep, boom, there it is, Coronado. Scores on Maki Niemi. And another one, Clem Costin. Giving us the insurance marker, love that. Okay, maybe we will not be jumping into this game. It is 3-0 after one. Johnny Goudreau, interesting. Former teammate of Scott, but Nooch says, nuh-uh, you're not catching us. All right, hold on, hold the phone. Don't let them get another one. Let's keep at least a two goal lead here. Heading into three. Yeah, all right. You know what? This one is worth jumping into. Could have gone for the pass. I don't know. That seemed a little bit selfish. It's a big first save of this third and a great shot block as well. Let's go 3-9. Berkeley carrying it up makes the safe play. I'm in. They also have Braden Point. Dabrinka? What is this, an all-star team? Nice way to win that. Great pass. Holy. That is all Betsy. I guess, you know, props to Berkeley. I'm just going to ignore their little tele teleportation. Teleportation trick. All right, I've seen it before. Nothing new here. Anyway, what an individual effort from Conor to get that puck to 3-4. Tage Thompson? I have to see what this team looks like on paper because that is absurd. Jones? I tried to just stay as still as possible. And it worked. Really? Are you kidding? That is... Quite literally the definition of unfortunate. Takes a shot. It just goes off of 80 things. Somehow finds its way right on to TT's stick. Unbelievable. Let it rip. Not exactly. How do they also have Aho? Something doesn't... They have to be over the cap. It does not make sense. No way! That would have been another pass from Betsy to Berkeley to reestablish a fairly large lead here. Go, go. Oh. There's so many questions I have about that. Their defender just said, no, gonna let him have the breakaway. Kind of just left him alone. But then, Bedard was like, well, no, I don't want it. And just stopped up and didn't do anything. That was fascinating, is the best word I could think of to describe it. It's an easy save there. Put it right into the chest. We're definitely up in the pressure here, and I'm definitely still throwing that puck out. Don't you think for one second that that's changing? Love save, and you're wide open, Lundqvist. Let's go. Spins off his guy. Makes a wonderful breakout pass. This could turn into something here. Or not. Troy Terry. Because, of course. No! No, 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 no. There is no possible way that they have Barkov. What? what? They have Igor Shosturkin too. There's 0% chance that they are cap compliant. I'm not buying it. What a save. After this season ends, it is a requirement that I run down their roster. They have to be Stanley Cup favorites. We are fairly deep into the sim, so some of these players maybe aren't the highest overall anymore, but they still have X factors and abilities. I also don't know why I've made this a habit all of a sudden, but whenever the puck's in the other end, I just put one hand in my pocket. There's no good reason for it. A five-hole hat trick. Matthew. That is 
dirty, my friend. That might have just sealed the deal, too. Two-goal lead. Yeah, there's still a decent amount of time left, but I think we got this. If that went in, might have backtracked a little bit, but it didn't. Minute 10 to go, and we are still up by two. Score an empty netter. Let Matt get it. No, Matt, what are you doing? Oh, it's going to go. It's not going to go. Matthew? No. That's Matt Sue. Yeah? Get another one. Let's just bury this team. Okay. Look at them, Jack Eichel, too. What was that? I need to look at this team because this is just an international team of mystery. Something does not add up. Yep, easy final save there. And somehow Chicago pulls off a blinder. Takes out the Preds. So we did manage to win all the games. That last one I played awful. But I was too busy being blown away every second by these players continuously revealing themselves. I'm just immediately going because I need to know. Smashville Predators, here we go. Braden Point, 92 overall. They have Matthew Kachuk, 94. 88 ADB. 90 Sebastian Aho, 91 Tage Thompson, Jack Eichel, 89. What am I looking at right now? How is this possible? This is the best team they've ever seen in the NHL, ever. 7.6 for 92 overall Braden Point. How did you pull that off? 11, okay, yeah, that kind of checks out. I gotta show all the contracts too, because this is insane, but... How? And then even in net, they have Igor Shosturkin. 90 overall. My stomach is fuming right now. It is very hungry. We definitely are not winning the division. We definitely are not winning the President's Trophy. Obviously, because if you don't win the division, you can't win the President's Trophy. But we're still going to finish the year strong. All right, Should have... How about we don't get all the poolies, James? The Colorado Avalanche will be our round one opponent. Are you really going to tell me I'm starting? Seriously? Yeah, I sure hope I am. Star. I guess this kind of was the year of the brand because it was red before and now we're up to over a thousand. So it's decent. Let's look at some stats here. So we actually ended up coming pretty close. Smashville ended with 106. We got 103, but in the entire league, pity 108. Same with Vancouver. We actually finished fourth, which is awesome. Anaheim did not make it at 15, ha <laughs> ha, and Columbus did. Carolina, Boston at 16 and 17 got in. Calgary Flames had 27 wins all year. Yikes. We didn't really get a whole lot of points. 67 points from Berkeley, 65 from Connor, 58 Mika. How'd we win? I'll tell you how we won. It's this guy right here, brother. 926 save percentage, 231 GAA, and a record of 39-20 and 2 with five shutouts. Yeah, that is good. We actually had the most wins and the highest save percentage. So probably some trophies headed our way. Love that. Kill McCarr had 33 more points than the next closest defenseman. Is he even a defenseman? And he also won the Art Ross because Patrick Laine had the most points for a forward with 96 and he had 53 goals. Holy crap, Kale. All right, here is the playoff tree. I will try to remember to remove myself for a second, but in case I don't, bottom right corner there, we have Montreal against the Columbus Blue Jackets. So we finished really well, fourth in the league. We have Colorado, which could be a tough opponent. I'm curious to see who they still have, who they don't have anymore. And I think it's going to be a good playoff run. Appreciate you guys as always. Uh, if you like and subscribe, then your favorite player will score next game. And I will see you soon.